hello everyone happy full moon in Scorpio it's Elizabeth with inner light moon here to do the full moon reading for everyone for the remainder of this full moon cycle this waning cycle How's everyone doing? We had a lunar eclipse earlier this morning. It's, um, it can be a little bit of an intense time. So let me just tune in here to everyone currently on the call and everyone who may view this reading in the future. But I be a clear channel to the information delivered here. So I'm just dividing the deck into these um, three piles. And take some time, everyone, and close your eyes. Take a deep breath and tune into which of these piles resonates with you. Okay, great. I will start with the left pile and put the middle and right pile aside. Okay, for the group that shares the left pile, our first card is the Dragon Emperor, ruler of the four seas. This is a major arcana card. It corresponds with the Emperor card in the traditional tarot. In the Inner Light Moon Oracle deck, we see, let me see if I can... Um, show you guys a little bit of a closer picture here. Let's see. So what we're seeing is um, the dragon emperor holding a pearl at its dantian. And dragons in Chinese mythology are the rulers of water. Rain, mist, rivers, anything water is their domain. And water in the tarot corresponds with our emotional life, our depth, our spiritual depth, our um, swirling and sometimes chaotic uh, internal life. And this dragon emperor with this pearl held here holds all the emotions in check. It's not, doesn't try to control them, but just allows them to flow and move and accepts the emotions and is in um, harmony with them. So that's the first card for the left pile, if you chose the left pile. Behind you, so you're coming out of this seed stage, we have another um, a water card, which is related to this major arcana, ruler of the water. And it says, patience in darkness for seeds to sprout. So for this water card, we have, um, so you're coming out of this state of gestation, this state where you just have to be, you had to be very patient and just allowing, like seeds don't just um, crack open. It takes time and it takes like the right environment and conditions and eventually they'll be ready and that's when the time happens so you're coming out of the state of just seeding and moving into left group you're moving into the civilization card cultivating stewardship so you're moving into this place of nurturing we see this um, 4-h girl holding her baby kid and she's going to nurse this kid to adulthood. So this card actually corresponds with the devil card in the traditional tarot. But in this deck, it's really about taking that obsessiveness of the devil card and channeling it into work, into the community, into things that you care about and are important to you. 
so rather than obsessing on this or that, like really understanding your connectivity and place in the world and um, relationship with the environment and animals and others. So that's it for the left pile. Um, you're moving into this beautiful place of understanding um, and having more harmony in the world and um, in your relationship to it. So happy blood moon, left pile group. And we'll move on to the middle pile. If you chose the middle pile, the, the primary card for you right now, middle pile group, is the Phoenix card transformation. From the fire, a deep and lasting change. So what we have here for the, for the middle pile group is a really um, intense time, a really important time of letting go, letting all those um, things you're finished with, let them burn away. And you may have had uh, some struggles. You may have had some really intense uh, rebirthing, essentially. But it's good news for you because you will emerge from that as a phoenix. So it's a really exciting um, transformational time. An intense time, too. So that's the first card pulled for the uh, middle pile. And then you're coming out of this um, moon baby place so and it's a little bit reversed as well so let me show you guys this card where you're coming from phoenix people you're coming out of the moon the path clears by the light of the moon this card really deals with a lot of uncertainty and a lot of um just trusting you sort of have to surrender and trust so you're coming from this place where you didn't know what was happening. You're like an infant floating in this a vast sea, and the moon is the guide for you. And this came up reversed. So with that, there may have been some resistance to really trusting and having faith and believing and knowing that the universe is there for you and that everything you need is inside of you. So this is where you're coming from. And into the uh, phoenix card you're emerging into this beautiful transformation in this powerful place and um the last card where you're going to uh so i just reversed the moon card so it's like upright that's really easy if we just switch our perspective to go in this direction and then your last card where you're headed what's going to nurture you most is rest just know that this is a challenging time for you. Sleep reju rejuvenates. How's your sleep been? Like really be aware of what you're doing for your sleep and how, how you're, you know, do you take your phone to bed? Do you, you know, prepare your sleep well and, and know that that's an important time for you. Take, um, Take some rest for yourself. You don't need to be on all the time. It's a pretty um, a pretty big transition you're going through, and it requires you to um, take time for your body. So that's the middle pile reading for this full blood man. And now we'll go over to the to the right pile. So here for you, right pile people. Your first card, it's a beautiful card. You have the spring card. This is a wood card. It's the season of wood is spring. And it has to do with all this beautiful, fresh, new growth and exciting kind of just natural growth. Not pushing it, just allowing um, the flowers to come as they naturally would in the springtime. So... Your season of spring is coming from this freedom card, Unshackled Begin Anew. So you're coming from this place of like really being um, willing to, I'm just trying to get the light on this card a little better, really, really being willing to just be innocent and try new things and uh, strike out on an independent path all of your own 
the horse zodiac that this girl is riding. Um, the horse zodiac really has to do with unshackled freedom and um, allowing yourself to be unbridled. And the, the girl that's riding the horse has this chakra cap of seven colors. So that's symbolizing the seven chakras going through the opening and connecting to the seven energy centers of the body and understanding um, that connecting to those energy centers are really bringing you home to yourself. So coming out of this place of freedom and you're um, in currently in this beautiful new growth of spring and then you're going to be heading into this phase of autumn which is re in reverse and so autumn is the season of metal so there is some resistance to the autumn season and the autumn season the metal cards these cards deal with um cleaning <laughs> A lot of people don't like to clean. It's about decluttering. It's also about accepting. And there's a little bit of um, letting go and the kind of sadness and grief that comes with letting go of those old things. But um, just think about how beautiful autumn is when all the leaves like turn into those bright colored, fiery. Um, they're sort of giving off their last their last breath as they turn bright orange and then they fall to the uh, forest floor that you see here and they are um, nu nutrients for the future growth in the following spring. So this card really indicates that you know life is cyclical and we do go through um, all of the emotions the full range of like growth and then you know release and death. So allowing this also to be a part of and embracing that part of life. So right pile group, this is the um, reading for you. Thanks everyone for watching uh, this full moon in Scorpio reading and wishing you all a really beautiful um, moon cycle. I'll be back next month and you can always find our decks at innerlightmoon.com with the guidebook. So thanks a lot for watching. Take care, everybody. And now I'll try to figure out how to say goodbye. <laughs>